as Belo Tunji's tracks again in Zamfara State. Guys, this is not funny at all. Let's quickly see what he did this time as we take the details of the report. A few days after Nigerian security forces intensified their operations against terrorist groups, reports have emerged indicating that notorious terrorist kidnappers Belo Tunji has resurfaced after a brief period in hiding. This follows a series of successful military attacks that targeted several high-profile leaders within the terrorist ranks, including Tuji, formal mentor and boss, security analyst and counter-insurgency expert Za. Gato Zola Makama, who specialized in the Lake Shad region, reportedly that Tuji and his fighters have relocated from their previous hideout near Safe to Muhayes in Zamfara State. This strategic movement appears to be a direct response to the Nigerian military's ongoing effort to dismantle terrorist operations in the area, which have gained momentum in recent weeks. One significant victory for the Nigerian military was the elimination of Halilu, a notorious bandit leader who had previously trained Tuji. Halilu commanded a large number of armed fighters and was heavily involved in illegal arms, trading, and gun running activities. His criminal network extended beyond Nigeria with reports indicating he owned property in Niger Republic. The elimination and killing of Alilu was a critical blow to the terrorist landscape as he had been a key figure of setting and promoting many of the attacks in the region. The vacuum left by Alilu death likely prompted Tuji to temporarily retreat back into hiding. However, recent intelligence suggests that he has now returned to the fray which poses renewed challenges for Nigerian security forces. His re-emergence is alarming, as it indicates that terrorist elements remain resilient despite recent military successes. And so local communities are on high alert as Tuji's group is known for violent repressors against those who oppose them. Security forces are intensifying their patrols in the Zamfaral region, focusing on preventing further destabilization and ensuring the safety of residents in the region. Military officers are also strategizing on how to effectively counter 
Tuji movement and his men and disrupt his plans. The situation remains fluid and the Nigerian military is urged to remain vigilant as operations continue. The focus will not only be on neutralizing Tuji Bello, but also on dismantling the networks that support such terrorist activities. The fight against terrorism in Nigeria is far from over, and the resilience of groups like Tuji highlights the complexities involved in restoring security and peace in the affected region. So guys, how do you see to this matter, whereby insecurity have ravaged the whole of Zamfara state and has cut across the northern region, which include the entire nation of Nigeria. Just a few weeks ago, Nigeria's army gained victory by eliminating the boss of, of Tunji, the person of Alilu, the notorious leader of the bandits group. And this has called for jubilation and happiness by Nigerians, only to see that Tunji Bello and his fighter have left for a moment for a hideout near Safi and cross over to Muhaf in Zamfara State, also known as Zagazola clan. With this recent development, Nigerian army are being encouraged to be on an alert to ensure that Tunji did not strike again. On the other hand, they should also monitor the Nigerian politicians, the governors, and some of these politicians that are giving these terrorists support and high network to strike because high-level investigation have proved that Nigerian politicians are the ones supporting these terrorists. So guys, quickly give your comment on this on the comment section below. And do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bliss Channel.